Hi friends, my name is Rohan Roy and in this video, I am going to be introducing JavaScript to you guys. So without any delay, let's get to it. JavaScript as a language is built around objects. You may be using them without even realizing it like functions or arrays. If you are into web development, you are going to find out about objects one way or another during development process or you are debugging some piece of code or during an interview. The goal of this video is to discuss what objects are and how JavaScript as a language processes objects and its primitive data types. Imagine we have to fill a huge warehouse with fruits. We have to put them in boxes so we can organize the space. We can access a fruit via its respective box. There can be as many boxes as possible. Only constraint is that a box can hold only one item at a time. If we want to put another item in a box, we have to discard the item in it. Now, one of our customers placed an order of three fruits. So we have to keep three fruits together and know where it is in the warehouse. Ideally, we should keep all the fruits in a single box, but we can't. So we put each fruit in a separate box and arrange them together in a reserved area. And we come up with a solution that we will write the location of this reserved area in a piece of paper and put it in a box. So we know that these boxes belong together and where they are in the warehouse. We even decided to copy the location in another piece of paper and add it to another box. Now we can add a new fruit or whenever any of the three fruits rot, we can replace them using any of these two boxes since they contain the same location. We can replace the second box with a fruit if we want. Once the customer comes and collects the fruits, we replace the first box with a blank piece of paper which means it doesn't contain any location as of yet, but it can in the future. So how do we compare the analogy with the JavaScript itself? A box refers to a variable. A fruit can represent a number, string, boolean or a symbol data. A box containing a fruit refers to a variable representing a data. A collection of boxes with fruits refers to an object where each property represents a data value. In this case, a variable always represents a reference or an address to the object. When a variable is reassigned, it now represents a new data or a new reference or address. If no variable represents a data or points to an object, then it is handled by the garbage collector. But I will get into it in a future video. Now there is a case where a variable is assigned a reference that points to no object. This is called null. You can think of it as an object that doesn't exist. If you are enjoying the video so far, please like, subscribe, hit the notification icon and share this video with your friends. A JS object is considered one of the eight data types in JavaScript, seven of which are considered to be primitive because they can represent only one item at a time. Whereas a JavaScript object can represent several items. Null is considered a primitive even though it is technically an object. When multiple items are added to an object, they are called properties where each property is represented by a key that can either be a unique string or a symbol and the data stored is the property value. You can create an object using curly braces or using new object. You can use a function to create an object where that function becomes that object's constructor. I will discuss this in detail in an upcoming video. You can use object.create to create a new object using an existing one. This existing object becomes its prototype. If you replace this with null, then you create an empty object. Prototypes are a way for one object to inherit another's properties. I will also discuss this in detail in an upcoming video. If you have any questions or concerns, please write them down in the comment section and I will get back to you. If you want me to help you deploy your website in cloud, then check out this video. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Namaskar.